everybody, it's Sarah. Thank you guys so much for watching my paint pouring video. This one, we're gonna use a strainer to uh, pour through. So it's gonna be kind of fun. I found this at the Dollar Tree, only a dollar for this cool rubbery thing. And we're gonna see what happens when we pour through it. So let's try it out. The colors that I have tonight are number one, our gold, number 10, our orange, 18 our aqua nine pink and uh number one is white so let's see what happens i think i'm gonna start and just kind of go in this order that i have here and just keep going so let's see what happens i am so excited about this i've been wanting to do this for a while let's see so orange will be next And I picked these colors because I thought, oh, these are kind of beachy, very summery, bright pinks, golds, teal. Oh, wow. It is already looking really cool. I cannot wait for you guys to see what happened on this side. I need a lot more teal, I think. I'm going to do a little bit more, just finish up this row of like this order and then I think I'm going to tilt. Wow. It looks crazy. I might even do a little over here just to look at that. Check that out. So then we're going to tilt it. So crazy looking to me. I don't know. I'm thinking armadillo. I'm, I'm, it, it is reminding me of an armadillo for some reason. Well, now not so much that there's a lot more pink and teal going through it, but those gold and uh, orange shades. And this gold that we have is metallic, so it's got some shimmer to it. camera doesn't really do the gold and the silvers justice. I'm just trying to get all my edges covered. Now remember whenever you guys are pouring, you don't have to stop after the first pour. You can, oh my gosh, I am loving this. Look how cool that looks up there with that pink and that teal. Just want to get all my edges coated. Wow, and I chose a color scheme that is not normally what I use. I usually go for like blues. How cool is that? Oh, I think this looks awesome. And you can see some little cells and some lacing, just like these random little dots poking through. Maybe let's try a little bit more. I know I tend to go a little bit crazy sometimes, but um, I think this is going to be awesome. So I want to put more gold. Let's see what happens. A little more gold and maybe some more white to break up the gold and the orange. I'm not a huge fan of orange, but hey, you know what? We're trying new things tonight. It's an experiment. So it's just kind of like blobbing through in these like just little little tiny dots. I'm gonna try and tap it and see what happens. Oh, we could even like put a little smush, kind of like a balloon smash. Let's see what happens here when we tilt. So crazy looking. fun thing about paint pouring is that you never know what you're gonna get and that can be a good thing it can also be kind of scary to people that are very uh, into knowing the outcome ahead of time I'm gonna do a little more teal over here 
and maybe some more pink to match our top area. It's blobbing through. I wish there was a way to like scrape it maybe if I use my palette knife here. Just kind of push it down through without mixing it up too much because we don't want brown necessarily. I mean, maybe if you were going for brown, but now I feel like it's very disconnected. Different things happening in different sections. I should have left it. <laughs> How many times have you made a painting and you go, oh no, I should have left it how it was. Well, when you hit the point of I should have left it how I was, I always keep going. Because that means that now it's going to be a whole new painting. Wow. Okay, so that's not what I thought it was going to end up looking like at all. But that's okay. My hands are totally covered here, so I'm just trying to wipe it off on the side. And I think I need more gold in the middle, so I'm going to just kind of tap this off here so that it doesn't have quite so much in there clogging up my holes before I get the colors I really want going on in there which is going to be more gold. What can I say? Love gold. Maybe kind of drizzle it. A little white to break that up because I feel like the area is very dense with the teal and the pink. It doesn't really go with all the stuff above it and around it. And then we can tilt again. So see how you don't have to stop after the first pour? You can keep going. and Make it how you like it. These colors are so random to me. But, you know, it's a learning experience. Totally interesting. Something totally different than what I normally would have made. So I'm going to keep it like that. Because I like how that gold swirls and I really like that corner down here. So that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Again, it is a strainer pour. So this thing, we'll see. We're going to experiment with a bunch of different ways of pouring. So check out our videos. Now, um, I'm actually going to go grab my little uh, torch and see if I can get some more lacing or cells to come up here. All right, so let's see. Well, we got some some lacing at least something to give it a little bit of variety because you know that's what we're going for so you can see all that lacing right there and I keep going over in here so this torch I got at Bed Bath and Beyond and you can get yourself one as well it's a little butane torch and then you can fill it with um, lighter fluid Looks like there's going to be a lot in this gold area. I got to just focus on it. You don't want to hold it too close and you don't want to hold it too still just because then you're going to start smelling paint burning and that area is going to get dry a lot faster than the other areas, which you don't necessarily want. This area looks really cool now. Let's see if I can break up some of this pink here. So the heat, it's just kind of popping any air bubbles in there and allowing the under colors to pop through. All right, that looks really cool to me. I am gonna stop there. I'm happy with what happened with the torch. I'm so glad that I did that part. So, I'm going to take this off 
and maybe try to do like a little bit of a close-up. Sorry for the jiggle. See how all those little cells just came up with that torch? Again, not my favorite color scheme, but hey, like I said, learning experience, so it's cool. I will chalk it up to a learning experience. So thank you guys so much for watching um, my video, and stay tuned for more experimental paint pouring videos. See you later. Have a great night.